hello everyone and welcome to my channel this is lena and i hope you guys are doing amazing i hope you guys are having a good day wherever you are thank you so much for tuning in i always appreciate your presence and thank you so much for being here this is always dearly appreciated from my end thank you for your love and support uh, just to let you know i have recently opened up a second channel wherein I will be posting readings in Hindi language. Uh, many a times I have got in the past uh, requests to do reading in a different language. And I think finally I was ready to work on that. Um, in case you, uh, you understand the language, I will um, leave the link of my the channel in the description box of the video. Feel free to check that in case you're interested. Now, talking uh, about today's topic, um, let me first explain the place I'm coming from when I am doing the reading today. So I think just a couple of days back, maybe two or three, day, two or three um, days back, I channeled this energy of a guru. Like, um, you know, like I very strongly channeled this energy of like a guidance that is supposed to be coming from a guru from a teacher okay and i thought maybe you know like i should hold off let let me just hold off that feeling and see why am i feeling this okay and to my surprise just literally some like literally little a little while back i uh, i um realized that today um the jupiter is transiting in bharani nakshatra uh, which is one of my favorite constellations. Um, so as per Vedic astrology, Jupiter is uh, moving in the Bharani Nakshatra. So Jupiter, which is also known as Guru, uh, the given the status of a Guru teacher. Uh, so I'm very excited. And the moment I came to know this, I was immediately drawn to that topic, which I channeled literally like two, three days back. And uh, this topic, um, again, I'm not sure what to expect in the reading, but the topic that I'm channeling, it mostly gives me a feeling of, you know, this is going to be a message from someone who is about to enter your life soon, someone who is going to provide you some important um, guidance or is going to show you some way, is going to help you to unlock or you know, address some truth in your life. Um, and one more thing that I'm getting is this also is a guidance coming from someone from the other side. A guru, maybe for many of you, it is regarding a guru from your past life or the energy that has been guiding you for a while now. Maybe you are not realizing it or you're not, you haven't opened your eyes yet to that guidance, but um, this is an energy that I have been channeling for the last two, three days. And I think today was the, I was waiting for that perfect moment or that moment where I can actually feel completely in flow with that energy and I can sit and do a reading with that. So I think today when I literally just saw, I checked the transit and I was like, yep, I think I'm supposed to do this today. So here we are with the reading. Let's see. My God, are you serious? Oh my God. Okay. The first, uh, the word I heard was ishara, okay? Like the ishara is basically a Hindi word for sign. The first sign itself is so evident. A new journey that you're beginning with your truth. A journey towards discovering a major truth in your life. Wow, that's beautiful. And you know, when I was starting your reading, I heard the word very strongly, okay? Doesn't matter is what I heard very strongly. I get this feeling you guys are sad over something right now, or you guys are sad over something you lost recently, or a connection you lost recently, a breakup you had, or it could be in any way, shape, or form, a friendship that broke off, anything for that matter. I get a feeling with that, you know. It doesn't matter. Your purpose is much bigger or what's coming to you is really much bigger, okay? So keep your eyes in front of the road, like keep your eyes on that road. There's something important coming towards you. Let's see. Uh, 
Oh, wow. I'm also getting this message that um, you have lost your way for a bit. Someone is coming to show you the way is what I heard. You have lost your way for a bit now. You will be shown the right way. Okay, that's... You know what? This reading will be found by people who really need it. And I'm definitely... The energy that I'm putting into this reading, um, in whichever way... Sh shape or form you need to reassure yourself you will find this reading okay okay yep <laughs> oh my god damn i love when this happens i just love and you know what okay this is like a another confirmation um i'll soon do a reading from goddess durga i'm very strongly channeling her energy this morning itself and uh, the presence of this tiger keeps coming up like no matter what i'm doing okay guys expect one more reading from me soon okay um two of cups <laughs> what am i saying there's a very significant someone about to enter your life and guys let me tell you something two of cups doesn't always means a love relationship okay two of cups genuinely indicates a partnership okay now this could be in the form of a friendship that enters your life it could be in the form of a soulmate it can be in the form of uh uh anything for that matter okay like a business connection you form uh, a collaboration you make you meet someone in a business way whatever that is okay the, this is what i'm talking about there is going to be a significant significant partnership in your life okay and i'm hearing this number seven and i'm hearing 47 again um i heard that number seven and four seven i'm also uh feeling a very strong ma uh, masculine presence i'm feeling a very strong masculine energy um it, for some of you i'm i'm very strongly channeling kala bhairav and uh, wow hanuman ji <clears throat> i'm very strongly channeling their images i'm hearing the phrase talk to them talk to them talk to them i don't know what that means i'm hearing that talk to them Oh my God, are you kidding me right now? Wow, I have goosebumps. Oh my great God. I'm not making things up, people. Look at that. The emperor jumped out of the deck and bottom of the deck is Hierophant. Hierophant is the card of a teacher, a guru, a spiritual... Oh my God. <laughs> I'm kind of lacking... I'm astonished to see this. I'm lacking this. And see, you have Knight of Pentacles, a new journey that you've begun towards your truth. There is Eight of Wands. Look at that. Oh my God, are you serious? Six of Swords. This also indicates a movement. Uh, for some of you, a literal movement. For some, But otherwise, it, it's... Um, like a spiritual movement that you're making, a spiritual ascension. There is a pacing up now. Strong Sagittarius energy. Wow. Strong masculine energy. This is entering your life. For some of you, this is also in the form of new spirit guide, like a new presence that you're going to feel, a new... Um, connection that you're making in a spiritual space my god this is <laughs> i'm getting the date 13th of september for some reason i don't know why i'm channeling this particular date like i'm literally channeling a particular date very specific 13th of september something important could have happened last year or on some maybe this date holds some significance for you it could be someone's date of birth or something i'm going to pull only i'm i'm guided to not stretch this reading a lot i see the number 555 
okay i'm taking it my god look at that yeah i mean for many of you i'm hearing your lonely days are gone gone are those days i'm i'm hearing something like that okay like a rough statement that i heard there's this energy of sweep, sweeping you off your feet, you know, like, like, woof, overnight, you know, you know, the, the, the image that came into my mind, uh, the videos, sometimes you watch those videos, you know, they go and adopt some animals, like overnight, the fate of the animal is changed, like the dog is taken out from that um, adoption center, and they're bought into a very cozy home. So the feeling that I'm channeling and the visions that I'm getting is something like similar, you know. So now put that how that applies to your situation. And this is so interesting. I'll tell you something. This lover card holds the story of a rescue from Poseidon. For uh, This is the story of the Poseidon uh, mythology. If you want, you can go back and like, I don't want to go into the depth of the story, but this, this, uh, card actually talks about the story of a rescue here. Okay. And this is so interesting. This lover's card came out with 10 of wands and 10 of swords. These both cards talk about ending. Okay. Something that has ended something which was supposed to end the energy uh, the sun energy is very heavy here. Okay. I, I keep channeling this energy of strong fire energy and sun energy. Wow. I'm, I'm again being guided to, um, yeah. I'm being told to tell you or remind you this, that you know what, you're not dreaming. You are not dreaming. This is all happening. Yes, it's happening. I'm being told to remind you that. And guys, I'll soon be doing a reading on Goddess Durga. I'm very strongly, again, feeling drawn to that energy. Do expect that reading next from me. I'm going to keep this reading till here. And um, yeah, I'm going to see you again on my channel. Bye-bye.